Hey guys, it's me Sissy, and I thought I would do a crochet sitting chat. It's been a little while since I've done one of these and stuff. I'm working on Scarlet's blanket. Oh, the boys are resting. They have been since uh, sick since Friday night. And I'm going to probably go by a drop in clinic tomorrow, have them checked out because. Tylenol's working with the fever, but it just don't seem like they're fighting off whatever is going on. So hopefully tomorrow they can get that situated. Oh, but I'm working on Scarlet's afghan and stuff. Turned out really pretty. This is fabric pink, tweed with white and browns, and mango. This is going to be gorgeous when it does get finished. I started um, my father-in-law's afghan. He does not know about. And Zach wanted a blanket or a afghan in blues. So I went through my stash and I put all together blues. For him. So once I finish this, I will probably start his and continue to work on the other ones. Really enjoying making afghans. Yeah, they take longer, but I love coming up with different color combinations and stuff. I know, um, I forgot who it was. It might have been Chris that was asking about Randy. Crap. Sorry, I lost my stitch. And Randy's doing really good. He's in a living, assisted living facility. Um, about 30 to 40 minutes away from me, but it's closer to my other brothers. And stuff. Um, the staff is really sweet. They're really good with him. He enjoys it. They have um, recreation. Rec 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 they have morning meetup. I cannot say the R word for that. And um, he'll take his toys. He'll go in there, take part. They do arts and crafts. Um, he's allowed to move around and visit different patients that are there too. Everybody knows his name. Um, he just seems really happy. And they're able to um, monitor him better than we are. And he does have the feeding tube out. He is, he, it's not baby food. He has to be um, monitored while eating, but he is able to swallow and eat now. And he has gained a lot of weight and stuff, but he's doing awesome. I think I made the best choice in um, placing him there. Because he does really seem to be thriving. And that's what matters the most. Oh, it's turning out really pretty. I'm going to have to open another skein. I know I am. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. I was making a star. There was another one, a star blanket. But I'm not liking that new star afghan that um mikey has come out with so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna frog it and i'm gonna go back and do something else because i don't like it and if i don't like it i'm not gonna work on it are y'all like it if i like the colors it goes by faster if i don't like the colors don't like the pattern it ain't gonna get done nope so i'm not gonna do it Scarlet has pre-K graduation, the, not this Friday, but next Friday. So I'm excited about that. And they don't get out till like June the 11th. They're the last day of school. They go till like 11 o'clock. So not that long. And then I'm hoping when fall comes, that Zach will get into pre-K. And Scarlet will go into kindergarten. 
and then it'll be just me and Jackson at the house during the day and I can get excuse me one-on-one -on -one time with him so that'll be nice stuff I think he'll like school I like the teachers there too so keep your prayers for me that he'll be able to get in and he has a good school year when it does come time but we'll see I'm wanting to get workbooks for her and him this summer that way they can keep their skill practice while they're out and not back um, backtrack We'll see how that goes. I know during the summertime, I would forget what I learned in school year. And then when I had to go back and they had to refresh our memories. I know one thing, I don't miss school. Y'all miss school? I don't. I wouldn't want to go back. The way things are nowadays, mm -mm. we thought we had bullying. It ain't crap nowadays. Different type. This one's worse. Social media. Everything else. You can't get away from them people. They just knocking at your door all the time. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm glad I live in a different area. Oh, different time area. That's for sure. When I was a teenager. Oh. I've been um, reading, what is it called? The Silent Patient by Alex. Alex what? I always meant a first name, but I always have a trouble with the last name. Mike, uh, M-I-C-A-E-L-I-D-E-S. And I'm 50% of the way through, and I'm like, oh my God. It's called Silent Patient. In the swamp, she killed her husband. Supposedly, she killed her husband. I don't know. I'm so confused in this book. And she doesn't talk. But she kept a diary, right? Her husband got her a diary a month before she killed him. And she started writing it. So, I'm going back and forth between her diary and the doctor that went into this psychologist's field. Sorry, that wants to work with her and figure out what's going on and why she really did all that. And keep in mind, this is a very vulgar book. Um, I don't know how to take it. I don't know if I like it or not. I mean, I like thriller books, but this one, I just I don't know how I feel about it. So we'll see. There's like five parts in the book, 276 pages. So I should have it done in about two, three weeks, maybe less, because it depends. Um, I know it does draw you in from the first page, let's just say that. And I really don't like her brother-in-law. He's nasty, man. That's all I can say about that part. He is nasty. But, yeah, that's what I'm reading. For, well, technically, I'm supposed to be reading it with my brother. And <laughs> I started early. Me and my bestie, we started that book early. So, she's, like, reading it with me. And once I do finish it and she finish it, we're going to do a meet-up and go out to eat. That's what we're going to do. Because that book is something. And I'm also reading um, Borrowed Time. Is that what it's called? No, Pouncing on uh, Murder by Lori Cass. And that's a cozy bookmobile book. Can't really see it. Anyways, it's got um, the cat in front of the bookmobile. And his name's Eddie, and I like him a lot. And this is Silent Patient. Can't really. Anyways, it's got this woman on the cover, and it's got like a page ripped from her mouth. I don't know. Anyways, 
in order to um, reading consistently right now. And I did start a dye in a Palmer. I'm like 40% of the way through. It's called um, Treeby. And that one, ugh. I mean, I read a lot of her books, but this one, I want to go through and smack some of these men. Okay, get this. One of the, the officers during the war or whatever, because it's during the 1920s or 1800s, something like that. Anyways, it was during the war between Arkansas and Mexico and all of this going on. Anyways, um, the man, he's married. He married this woman because he wanted to be in the top ranks. And her father was in the top ranks of the army and stuff. So she finds out, she gets ticked off, and she turns the cold to him, okay? So then he starts having these affairs. And, okay, she wants a divorce. You know that butthead won't give her the divorce because he doesn't want other the people to, for, to degrade him, to him move down a rank or something. I'm sitting there thinking, you're cheating on her. Every one of your men know you're cheating on her. And you won't give her a divorce? What the heck is wrong with you? So I just want to take him and just, yee, yee. And this other woman that knows he's married, I'm just sitting there thinking, why would you want a piece of so that's that one story. And then within the story, it's got three different other stories. It's got Truby's story and that guy that gets on the nerves. And then it's got his wife's story that died in between with it. So I've got all these three other stories in this book. It just makes you want to pull your hair out. I'm sorry. This one, I'm not liking that much at all. So, I'm hoping it improves because right now I just won't scream at it. So, that's what's going on with Truthy Story. A lot of stupid people. I shouldn't say stupid. Stupid's not nice. But still. Some of these men and women just need to be slapped. Mm hmm Just slapped. Or shaken. Like, come on, people. Wake up. Really? You cannot be that naive. Oh, he loves me. He'll leave his Seriously. No, he ain't. Mm -mm. That's just wrong. That's dirty. Mm -mm. <sighs> now you know why I don't watch TV that much. I'm reading all the time. Oh, people keep asking me, oh, how do you read so much? For one, I read at nap time. I read before bed. I read in corporal. I read at doctor's appointments. I read it where I can fit it in. It's like, how did I put it one time? If you're on your phone, you got time to read. You watch Netflix, you got time to read. Okay, Shane, you could be listening to audible books. Benton, you can be listening to audible books. Drive to work, audible. Stuff. If you really want to get back into it, you figure out a way. This is so pretty. I'm really enjoying this one. Like I said, oh, ADD is a lot with me. That's for sure. Okay, I believe that is all I'm going to do for now because i got to go get my other ball of yarn. And it is 1 o'clock. i got to take Teddy Graham out to potty. Um, if I've not announced it on here, um, Buster, my chihuahua, he died in February. Um... He went outside. You know how a dog knows before they go, they, they'll wander off sometimes? Well, he went over to the neighbors and he laid down. And um, it was dark and she was coming home. And she barely hit him. But he was dead before she ran over him. And 
So we ended up burying him. It was like a week. No. Yeah, a week before my birthday. Yeah, and then the next week I started having um, bad anxiety attacks because Buster would, would help me with my anxiety. Anytime I was having a bad attack, I could pick him up and he would calm me down. So about a week and was it a week? It might have been less than a week, but I ended up um, going this woman that um, had puppies and um, ended up getting Teddy Graham. And he's half Yorkie and half something else. I, can't, I don't know if he's a Snorky or a Morky, but um, he's the sweetest little dog you've ever seen. Looks like a really teddy bear. But um, he's been helping me with my anxiety. Um, he's really good with the kids. He plays real good with them. But, um, yeah. That's what happened with Buster. He's in doggy heaven with Mama. That's for sure. But um, I hope you guys um, have a wonderful week. If you stayed with me this long, thank you. And comment down below and tell me what you're working on. Bye, guys.